All right, we're live. All right. And so, what up, everybody? I'm back. It's your main man, Dr. Fat Body, on the ones and twos. With us, we have a couple of goons at the moment. Oh, I forgot to join this Discord call so you can hear those goons. All right, that is now fixed. We have <laughs> Twitch.tv's very own Buster Man and Dagron with us. Uh, two phenomenal Sega Genesis speedrunners. Um, we are going to be having Buster Man do Revenge of Shinobi. He's the current world record holder of this game. Uh, he's been holding it down for years, you know what I mean? Like years and years and years by himself. More people have came in, you know, he's taking it back. Fought back from the top like Rocky did Apollo. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to let them do a quick little introduction. We'll get a countdown and then uh, we'll get out of here. All right. So, yeah, Buster Man is the world record holder of this game. Uh, for a little bit, I had it, and then, it, um, and then we had a miraculous return of um, a guy who changes his name more than a few times and uh, <laughs> set the bar set the bar as um, for the sub-13, which is pretty much the final goal when it comes to this game. It's, that's the point when this game really gets optimized. And... Uh, yeah. Fast forward to uh, well, a couple months. Well, I mean, I don't know how long you've had the record for Buster Man. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes, sir. So it's recently as two weeks. He had uh, he took the record back in this category, or in a uh, yeah in this game. There's really only one category, and he's going to be doing this on the hardest difficulty. It's kind of the set standard difficulty. Just yep. Uh, not really any true differences between the difficulties. Like the routes don't change. The fastest way of handling the run is always the same, regardless of the difficulty. So, you know, taking that into account, we always do the hardest difficulty because that's always the most impressive. So, I think I've spoken enough. Is there anything you want to say, Buster Man, before we get started? Video game hard. Oh. Yeah. There Word, go. video game hard. All right, well, if you're ready, Buster Man, I will get us uh, ready to get counted down. All right, let me just uh, set the difficulty in the shurikens. Okay, never mind. It's Word. already set. All right, um, let me just get back to the menu. All right, I'm ready whenever. Oh, one thing. All one right. thing. This uh, game is yep. run in SDA time, which is start time and gaining control, but for marathon purposes. Bad body will run the RTA timer. I'll run my own timer. And we'll pair the two after they're done. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Well, then we will get started in three, two, one. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. So. Okay. Avengers so. Shinobi. The first Avengers Shinobi. The first major the first thing about this game. The first game. major thing about this game. This particular power up he's going to pick up. This particular power up he's going to pick up pretty much right at the beginning of the game. And he wants, he will want to hold on to this power up for the entirety of the run. Uh, which is probably not going to happen, but there are multiple power ups laid out throughout the entire uh, game. Some uh, more hidden than <laughs> But um, generally speaking, it's. It really ups your damage output, and this is especially key with boss fights. So, uh, we got... Never mind, there we go. No. Yeah, we got no game feed on stream. Oh. Oh. Oh, So, no. uh... I'm gonna reset. Uh, yeah. We're gonna reset. It's, it's okay, it was only 40 seconds then. But uh, is that, uh... Is that Dr. Fatbody's end? Yeah, like I'm looking at my. Well, actually, let me go to my channel real quick. Hang on, let me let me let me check. Uh, play okay, yeah, my stream's up. I uh, reset the console. Okay. Yeah, reset the console so that I know if we have actual sound on your end. Okay, we do, on your stream. Okay, so... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we need to nice. get in contact with that. <laughs> all right, all right, right, hang on. Oh, wait, oh, wait. He's back. <laughs> oh, he's back. Yo. Um, controls. 
shit. I'm sorry about that, dude. I feel so silly. All right, so three, two, one. Oh, oh. Wait. So go. All right. So three, two, one, go. That's fine. Just, just go. <laughs> okay. So, getting back to what we were just talking about, uh, the power up. So I mentioned he really wants to hold on to this power up, and uh, you'll know if he actually holds on to this power up. Oh, okay, good. I just scared there for a moment. Uh, you'll know he has the power up if he does this particular posture or stance while he walks. He kind of holds up two kunai right in front of him. And this this stance here actually does deflect projectiles that are thrown at him. Most of them anyway. However, it will not it will not shield him from damage taken from any particular bodies. The good thing about that though is that most most uh, most bodies actually don't do true damage. Like, you actually saw him do a little bit of a body boost in the first screen there, and he does it again there. And this actually doesn't do damage, so he's able to... He's able to actually dodge taking any damage through the use of that body boost. And he gets a few... He gets a fair bit of iframes for doing that as well, and allows him to walk on those bamboo spikes. Whoops. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so uh, this section here up. can be this this section that that underground section there can be a little bit a little bit shaky. There's some pretty somewhat precise jumps that you have to do, and you have to throw in order to actually just keep moving. The source of many lost runs in the early. All right, so first boss. It's gonna get right up into this boss's hitbox, and it looks really really shaky what he does there but it's pretty you, simple it, it's very it's pretty simple yeah you you actually can you actually can get right up in the in that boss's face and just uh mark his day maybe not too close but you know it, the animation makes it look like he his sword will actually hit you but it, it actually doesn't he, when he actually takes it Yeah, so this screen here is awful. This is actually <laughs> where most people get really stumped, especially when they're starting off and learning it. It's it's just awful. And what kind of log patterns you get there depends on how you move on that screen. Yeah, it's really weird. It's really weird. You have to do it a very certain way, or else you'll just completely destroy your log spawns. And you'll waste a lot of time. Contrast, though, this screen is always very consistent. Yeah, it's like super boring. You just hold right, and that's it. Maybe jump a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, the the key of this screen is just to stay as high up as possible for the most part. There's a lot of enemies and a lot of pits in that particular Later! Screen. And, uh, yeah, this boss... This boss has all sorts of shadow clones, and what you saw Buster Man do there is the spray and pray attack and then he constantly kept hitting the attack button and what that ends up doing is it ends up spamming a whole bunch of kunai shurikens uh, to be thrown directly down in rapid fire succession and the, doing that in doing that you actually will force all the shadow clones out of that ninja knock him into the corner where he proceeds to finish him off with a sword swipe. He only can take two hits but you have, when you have the power up. He takes a lot more when you don't have the power up, and that's kind of why I stress that the power up is so key in the speed run. Now, the screen Buster Man is on here, this is another place where a lot of people get foiled. These doors that you see are, that are opening in the background, uh, they they suck you out and if they suck you out then you will die instantly from that it's another one of those really really stupid parts 
But this he got is, out there just fine. This is a cold boss. You just walk into him and it's over. Yeah. Yeah, that... A lot of people might not think you can actually walk into that boss, but you, you can. It's... As long as you have the power-up. As long as you have the power-up. And that's kind of the sticking point, is that the... The previous screen, it's actually fairly easy to use the power on that screen, especially from the grenade chuckers during the uh, during, during the higher part uh, of that of that particular screen. Shout outs to Rambo. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to Rambo. <laughs> He's gonna take one more body boost here to knock himself into the exit, and now we're gonna see the first use of a ninjutsu here. Yes, th so there are four ninjutsu in this game, and usually, while they they barely they do serve a lot of use, they take up a lot of time to load, and this is uh, usually a big time loss. So we like to minimize using them, except in situations where it actually does save time, and the use of that fushi ninjutsu is one situation where it does save a lot of time. There's the Hulkinator. Yeah. Gave you good luck, too. Yep. The Hulkinator can choose either one of the car or the engine. The engine allows you to get closer to him because it's just a much smaller object he's trying to throw at you. So getting the engine is actually... It's a 50-50 chance whether he throws the car or the engine. The engine is good luck because you can proceed to sword swipe him when you get close enough as soon as possible. It's just... It's it's not faster by much, but it's you know it's a good time save to have. Hey, there we go. Especially in this game. Also, that first screen in stage five, it's that's another good use, place to use the bushing because there's a lot of climbing. So it's a vertical it's a vertical based level where you have to go up all these elevators and it's just a waste of time to wait on these elevator cycle, so just pop the Fushin and uh, jump. Right, got up. that damage boost. Alright, will the truck yeah. be nice? Yeah. Uh, stage 5 Stage 5 is... Oh! That, duh, BTP3 that. flashbacks, man. Oh, no! <laughs> Except that was even worse, because I took damage. Yeah. So the truck two cycle is really, really difficult. It's probably the hardest quick kill in the game, arguably. I say arguably because Z Shieldless is a nerve-wracking quick kill to get, but that's not till the end of the game, so we won't talk about them just yet. But yeah, the, there's a lot that there's a lot to take in with stage five. Like that screen before the truck, it's it's awful. Like anyone who has played the game, they know how awful that screen is. Like the red cars, it, it's hard, it, it, you mess up that screen, like you have to readjust on uh, the global cycle to account for when the red car is going to approach you. While you're dealing with the, the, the nuns, the nuns that are basically female ninjas. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, Chinatown, I mean, they're... There's, there was one particular enemy in Chinatown that that used to be a big problem, but there were, you know, uh, some new things were discovered and it makes the screen a lot easier. And uh, the same holds true for this screen here that on the top of the train. And uh, this one, Buster Man can take credit for for all the setups. But um, we used to kind of just shoot a whole bunch of kunai and just pray to God we wouldn't get hit by, or get knocked back for one reason or another by an enemy. Yeah, right here was the yeah, right here. tech I found for this level. It looks really simple, and that's the point. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the point. Uh, keeping it simple. Alright, you guys ready for some copyright infringement? Yeah, you got to see the Rambos, now you get to see the uh, other thing that got very quickly changed. So, here's Spider-Man, and, um... There's Batman! You might notice... Yeah, if you notice he was, uh, kinda stuck up there clinging to the ceiling there, he was actually morphing into Batman while that was happening. Morphing out the, the Batman cape, 
and then he he comes in spawning from above as Batman. So you can imagine that was one of the very first things that was changed. This game's had quite a quite a history of different versions that have been released. Like later, later versions would end up getting rid of the next boss fight, which uh, you might know why, but I won't spoil Woo! that just yet. And then there is, um, oh my god, you actually went for that. <laughs> wow. That wow. jump is really fucking hard. Like, you can really easily screw that up and have to start the whole level all over again. Mm hmm Yeah. It's one of those tricks that I, I don't have the confidence to do in, in my particular runs. At least, not not for the time being. It's good to show that off, though. It's It, it really oh, is... Oh, no, 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 fuck, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. Lag, lag, lag. Oh. Uh, uh, um. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Got the power. okay, 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 okay. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Just a bunch of lag yeah. there. There we go. <laughs> this is another level. Is uh, the last marathon I played in, Blast of Process 3. This is was a big choke it, dude. I did it again. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Okay, well, you're gonna. Well, you know what to do in the next fight. Yeah, okay, I, so I can do it. There's no more power-ups that he can take advantage of. There, there's no more power-ups that he can grab. So he's going to be doing in this next fight with backup strategies. Thankfully, this is the first time this has happened in the run. So he is going to abuse this ninjutsu right here. This is the Mishi ninjutsu. It's also known as the Suicide ninjutsu. Every time he uses it, he will lose a life for it, but it causes a lot of damage. Can I do it again? Alright, later. Oh, oh god, okay. <laughs> that, I took a big hit scary. there, so I just, Yeah, so I, I that was something. Godzilla. That was Godzilla. That's another fight that got changed in later versions. You, though it got away for a little while. It, it had a it had a good run. Unlike Spider-Man and Batman. Well, sorry, not Spider-Man. Spider-Man's actually an interesting case. See you might, if you have played, like, later versions, you'll see, like, a copyright, uh, like, a disclaimer that mentions about Marvel properties and Spider-Man. They actually got would later get the rights to Spider-Man, but, of course, because they got the rights to Spider-Man, they lost the rights to Batman. So Batman would wound up like a some sort of demon or something like that. It's It's... There, there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of different changes that have, un that have been, uh, that this game has underwent. Let's just say. All right. Yeah. And so that that other screen there, because he didn't actually have the, well, because he didn't have the power up on that first screen of stage eight, he had to rely on a damage boost off of a grenade. And this can be a little dangerous. He could have gotten knocked back from it, but uh, he is also fairly consistent at the backup strats, which is why he is also the one running this game. Uh, the labyrinth that he's in now, this is the last area of the game. After Come this on. is going to be okay, got a good the final there. boss. Alright, yeah. That, that room is probably the biggest luck factor that can really kill a potentially great run. Alright. I'm gonna do shield because I'm at zero lives now. I probably shouldn't risk mm. this. Yeah, yeah, good call. So this ninjutsu here is uh, ideally not one you want to see in the actual run, but it allows you to take four hits. I believe might be five. I think it's four though. All right, time's coming up. Uh, yeah. As soon as I lose control, and time. All right, I got 1341, but I also screwed up my timer, unfortunately. Uh, once again, so. good back up on the <laughs> Godzilla fight. Yeah, so that's kind of why it's very, very important to hold on to the power-up. Because, as you saw from the Godzilla fight, it became a much longer fight because he had to resort to the ninjutsu, which takes a lot of time to load up, a lot of time to cast the ninjutsu, and perform all the damage that was needed. And that is the Revenge of Shinobi. Yep. Very short game. Very short game. And uh, very volatile game when things do go wrong. 
I should have switched to Japanese mode so we get a scene credits instead of just the end. Yeah. Is that like a Japanese only restricted? Yep, as far as I know. As far as I know, I'm playing on the Japanese card, but on an American system. So the older, uh, the earlier Genesis games uh, could do either Japanese or American. Like, I'll even show you. Um, let me switch it to Japanese. You'll see the uh, title screen is actually different. The Super Shinobi. But yeah. The Super Shinobi. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, just, yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, who's next, Breakyu? I believe so. But Dr. Fatbody has to say so. Well, oh, I just realized my mic was muted. My bad. He's uh, Raikou is coming up next. That was a phenomenal run, Buster Man. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Raikou coming up with Digimon World doing a randomizer 100 pp. Uh, definitely should be a good time. Uh, gonna be a lot of shenanigans. If you like Pokemon, definitely stick around for the Digimon stuff. And we will be back in.